you purchase a boat at the very lowest price you can find from a company that you failed to check out. You had no idea it would cost so much to own the boat as it is costing and this has become a real problem for you. You're having a difficult time backing your trailer. It just doesn't want to go the way you want it to. You dock your boat in the slip and tie everything down properly. The tide drops the water level three feet that night and you return next morning to find your boat hanging from the docks. Your boat comes loose from the dock during the night and bounces around the marina, hitting other boats and the dock, the piling. You head away from the dock in a hurry with a line hanging overboard. It finally catches in the prop, the engine goes dead, and you have a big problem. The engine's running great, and all of a sudden it skips a time or two and just stops running. You're on the Ow. best fishing trip you've ever been on. You relax and take your boat shoes off before going into the cabin. Later you walk out of the cabin onto the deck to admire the sunset. And about that time the pain hits you. You've set a hook in your foot well past the barb. You've cut your hand really deep and it's bleeding badly. You tie it up with a dirty towel to try to stop the bleeding and hope that it doesn't get infected. You want to go to a certain island but you're not sure which direction it is from your position. You look for your chart but it's not on board. It's at home. Your GPS navigator and electronic mapping system fails to work. You know your position, but you have no idea where you are in relationship to other things. You see the lights of the buoys. Some are flashing and some aren't, but you're not really sure what they mean. So you just kind of wander through them. You have a boat headed towards you on your starboard side at a direct 90 degree angle. He doesn't slow down, and you don't slow down. It just seemed right to you that he should have slowed down and given you the right of way. You've loaded the cooler with fresh lobster, steak, and gourmet food because there's one thing you're going to enjoy in this cruise and find your lobsters have drastically changed color. You're in rough water coming into the inlet and hit a big wake the wrong way and someone goes overboard. Simply having life jackets on board is not enough. A life vest is worthless. Your engine quits running and you can't fix it. The current and wind is carrying you farther offshore and your cell phone's out of range. Your boat's on fire and soon it'll either blow up or sink. You desperately try to remember the right way to place a mayday call. And you pray the Coast Guard will hear your pleas and that they'll believe it's a real mayday call and know how to find you quick enough. You notice clouds are moving in fast and the wind's shifted. Looks like the weather's changing fast. Suddenly it seems as if like a cloud fell on you. You're surrounded by fog. You can no longer see any of the other boats, buoys, or anything for that matter. You hope that another boat doesn't hit you and that you don't hit anything as you slowly creep along. You begin to wonder where the next marina or fuel stop is. Finally, your fuel runs out and you find yourself drifting aimlessly. You hear a distress call on your VHF radio and no one answers it. You assume it's not your business and proceed with your normal activities. You pull up to the waterside tavern, hot and tired, and have four scotch and waters. You depart the dock and head for home. Don't use illegal drugs or drink. Alcohol and water just don't mix.